am being put to the test first thing this morning. Well, I'm put to the test every morning, but at least this morning it's going to be a fun test, or so my producers tell me. I'm about to do a blind wine taste test, and Haley Bowman from Cork and Fizz is here to quiz me and also give us a little education. Welcome to New Day. Thank you. I love how you teach the approach of wine. I have to say, I was at a very fancy wine shop recently, and I like messaged her, and I was like, I don't know, I don't remember what to look for, <laughs> and she had my back. So I always learn so much from you. Thank you. Let's get started, though. You've never given me a blind taste test before. Yes. Well, I thought that was super fun. I think a lot of people think of blind tasting mm -hmm. as like only a magic trick that like trained sommeliers can do. Right. But honestly, blind tasting is simply tasting a wine okay. and not knowing what it is. All right. Right. It kind of gets rid of those preconceived notions of like, I really like this wine. I know I'm going to like it. Or sometimes when you don't like a wine or you think you don't like a wine, you're going to go into it with a kind of negative viewpoint. This okay. way, All right. you just go into it. I like it. So before we get started, just some general tips on what to look for when tasting wine. Yes. So we are going to kind of walk through each of the different tasting steps. Now, we are going to skip looking at the wine because, as you can tell, our white wines look very different. And I think mm. it'll be a little too much of a giveaway. So okay, I'm, I'm not you. looking. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking. Um, but yeah, so the way that it works is that we're actually going to guess what the wines are. You okay. can just do it to like, uh, figure out if you like the wine or not. Yeah. But in my tastings that I do, these blind tasting experiences, I want you to guess. But don't worry, you don't have to like study or do all the okay. training. It's not like, you know, one of those dreams where You're like, not going to like stamp an F on my yeah. head when I... <laughs> I have, I have to go those home dreams with where that. like I forgot to study for the test. Oh, I, you know? oh, I still have those dreams where <laughs> right? I get to a class and I'm like, I haven't been here all semester and, and wait, I have a paper due. <laughs> yes. so okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yes. So I created a little cheat sheet wow. for you. And so this tells you what to expect for the wines. And it basically okay. becomes a guessing game now. So okay. I don't know, less test, more game. Uh, less test, more game. Okay. All right. All right. So let's get started. Should we get started with our white? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to smell the wines and taste the wines. Okay. So we'll start with smell. We're going to start with wine number one here. Okay. Give it a little swirl. Make yourself look fancy. Mm. <laughs> I do that Spill too. the wine. That's the other test as well. All right. And then get your nose in there. And the first thing, mm. we're going to make it easy. Does it smell fruity? It smells, okay. It smells like I know I like it. <laughs> It smells not too fruity, but maybe a little. Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to kind of have mm -hmm. you get started on like what kind of fruit maybe you can pull something out. Okay. What else? And maybe like is it grapefruit or like grapefruit? Uh, baked apple? Okay, oh. grapefruit. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, yes. Are okay. you noticing some things on the cheat sheet, I'm right? The cheat sheet things. tells you. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm also drooling a little bit too, so I don't know what that's about. You're just really excited for the wine. It's it really embarrassing. To the best okay. Of us. Okay. All right. So we got a couple of aromas, and then maybe so, something non-fruity. Okay. Like, so fruit. Yeah. Non-fruit. What about like herbs versus like buttered it's, toast? It's fresh. It's fresh. fresh. Like okay. Uh, grass is on here. I would say maybe grass okay. or lime. All right. okay. okay. So you're leaning more towards. So between the two, we're looking at maybe Sauvignon Blanc. Right. But I should taste it now to Absolutely. see the body. Absolutely. So we're gonna taste, and so the body of the wine is the weight of the wine. How heavy does it feel? Right. And that's my okay. my goofy milk scale, where like skim milk is light bodied. 2% is medium bodied. There's nothing Whole goofy about that scale. That's actually quite genius. So yeah, All give right. it a taste right, and see what you think. Ooh. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. What that's do we very think? light bodied. Okay. All right. So we're still kind of on the Sauvignon Blanc side. Although I am, so I'm on the Sauvignon Blanc side. I don't know if you want to <coughs> reference the scale yeah, again. Yeah, I, I do know have the, do have that. Yeah, over okay, there. Okay. So, so we've gone through, it's grapefruit, it's fresh, it's light bodied. I don't feel like it's high acidity though, but that wouldn't like, out of all the things, that's not going to knock it out, True. right? True. And the thing is that this is like in general, like most Sauvignon Blancs, this, um, the two wines that we have are, one is a California Oak Chardonnay and one is a Washington Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. And so it kind of depends where it's from as well. That might okay. influence, but keep that in mind. Now let's go okay. to wine number two, and we'll kind of like verify and see if that matches. Okay. Work because you're basically going to this hoping this is this is like Chardonnay. Yeah, I'm thinking. And, and <laughs> yes, and all right. So give it a swirl. Oh, that's a smell. the smell. That's very oaky. It's very um, buttered toast vanilla. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that does have a lot of vanilla. Right. Vanilla. And if again, like if I did the same question before, grapefruit or baked apple. You know what would be fun is I really should have had a blindfold on for this. Yeah, these were definitely a different color, which again, I think it helps to like ease into it. Mm -hmm. Wait till you get to the reds. The, those okay. will always, okay, those reds will be are always okay. more challenging. All right, let's try this. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely like 2% milk. <laughs> it's got a little so more medium body, body. To it. If yeah. I ever go wine tasting, they're going to be like, I'm like, oh, it's a very 2% yes, yes. milk. They're going to, whatever, I don't care. 
They'll just um, know you were with Cork and Fizz. That's, that's fine. right, they will. <laughs> so this one definitely has a medium body. Uh, it does not seem acidic at all. This is, I don't actually ever really like Chardonnay, but girl, yeah. I like this. Really? I'm Who so glad to this? hear that. Okay, well, so first, we're, I'm going to have you guess, even though I think we're on the oh, right yeah. track Let here. Let me see. You're just very confident, and I'm I love it. I'm very confident. Okay. So you have your Sauvignon Blanc and your Oak Chardonnay. Well, this one goes here <laughs> for sure, and this one goes here for sure, and these ones come home with me. <laughs> no, these are really good. I'm kidding. Um, okay. All right, so yeah, so your wines, your wine number one with a Matthews Sauvignon Ooh, Blanc. Okay. Washington tends to have a little less acidity, which is why you maybe didn't pick up on that quite okay. as much. All right. So that's going to be wine number one. And then our wine number two is Phantom Chardonnay. Really? Yeah. And Who so makes that? Um, God, it's a good, oh, Bogle, Bogle. that's right. Okay. I was like, I knew it was a big winery. Is it um, here? Where do they make this? Uh, California. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Clarksburg. Yeah, so it's definitely like one of those more oak styles, but I think it's nice when you're in the mood for that. Good, that was a good one. I don't, and like I said, typically. You did beautifully in that blind tasting. Thank you. And you're Thank not you. a highly trained sommelier. I am just not, that fun. is the truth, Ruth. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the Ready reds the now reds. because we've only got about three minutes left and I want to get through Absolutely. both of these guys. Okay, so we have one of them is a Cabernet from mm -hmm. Washington and one of them is a Gamay from France, similar to a Pinot Noir. Okay. Okay, so we're going to okay. do the same thing. Wine right. number one. Okay. Go ahead and give it a swirl, give it a smell. And again, here I'm going to have you think plum versus raspberry. Which fruit comes forward for you? It's got nice legs. It does have nice legs. See, I know my wine. Okay, let me smell. Okay, plum or raspberry is what I'm, this is kind of like going off the cheat sheet, I'm helping you out a little bit here. I'm feeling more raspberry, but maybe plum, I don't know. Okay, that, I got These are harder, red okay, is these are hard. more challenging. And then what about like uh, cedar, like wood or uh, floral? Definitely woody, it's okay. more woody. All right, give it a taste. Okay. And we're gonna t look for that tannin, the how dry does it make your mouth feel? If oh, that's dry. If it's a dry. lot of dry, that's high tannin, not so much low oh, tannin. Yeah. That's dry. I'm gonna okay. need some fatty steak with All that. right, so now we can kind of reference our cheat sheet. What okay. kind of things, like out of mm. these, you notice a Cabernet Sauvignon has higher tannin, the cedar and the plum, that's why I was asking about that. Yes. And then the Gamay has a lower tannin with more flo floral and raspberry notes. Okay, well I think I know, but should we try the other yeah, one so I don't win our one. game? Um, all right. Number two here, give it a swirl, give it a smell. You so can again. tell it's definitely lighter. It smells delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's definitely raspberry. I get that right away. Uh, cherry. And you can notice on the taste too, the body, right? Like that lighter body. It's you could tell by looking at it because it wasn't milk. as thick, but it was also lighter. Yeah, this is good. Oh, I like that. And the tannins are not as high either. It's not exactly. stuck in my mouth dry. So this is like pre-dinner and <laughs> yes. that is with my steak. Exactly. And now again, you can just check your cheat sheet and see which one it matches better. That is amazing. Then, okay, so let's decide. You okay, have here your are little the, okay. guys there. Gamay. I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Cabernet, and this is the Gamay. All right, you did it! Woo, so we have the, the, the <laughs> you get to take the wine with you. Yes. <laughs> like, perfect. Uh, so yeah, this is a Gamay, it's called Beaujolais from France. Okay. That's I wine number two. Beaujolais. And wine number one is our uh, Sigilo Cellars uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. From, from Columbia Valley. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm gonna be taking this like cheat sheet with me when I go yeah, to dinner, well, and I'm it, gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna have the, uh, that's how classy yeah. I am. Yeah, well, like the best it. thing is, like, I make these custom for every tasting that I do with these blind tasting experiences. Oh. So, if anybody watching wants to try this at home, I will set it up for you and we'll do different wines and you just kind of get to guess and have fun. So, like, let's just say, for example, I know that I love a Pinot Noir. I yeah. know that I love Sauvignon Blanc. You know this now, too. I, I do. Um, <laughs> What if I say, hey, Haley, I want to do something and I want to try some new fun wines. Can yeah. you set that up? Would you set absolutely, that up? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think it'd be fun to do it in a blind tasting way because you would, again, you'd be trying them without knowing them. And while guessing, you can also say how much you like it or not, right? I think that this is going to be my birthday party <laughs> this year. Yeah, so it's super fun. I do them in, uh, I go to your home if you're in here oh, you're in, in the, the Seattle okay, area. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, or virtually if you're anywhere uh, across the world. I love that. That is great. Haley, you know, I always learn, like I said, so much from you but I really love that you make wine approachable. It's not snobby, it's not stuffy, it's just something you can bring home with yourself on a Friday night yeah. and enjoy your own party. So thank, thank you very you. much, thank my friend. So much. It is a pleasure, always. And cheers to you, my friends cheers. out there. Okay.